Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Kamex Island, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Looks like either way we're heading to the castle next, so let's do Chomp Romp now. So I wonder if we're going to find any chomps. I imagine we would, and I should not have done that. Oh, there is a chomp. And the chomp got me. Huh. And that was the first one as well. Nope, not happening again. Okay, I'm... I was not surprised you can't really hit them with shells. It wouldn't be that easy. And now I have no flower at all. I, I mean that fire flower, not... Never mind. Men don't really have those. <laughs> if we do, we don't call them that. We wouldn't call it a flower. We'd probably call it a tree. You know what I mean? Okay, seeing chops like that can be scary. Like, what are you supposed to do about that reliably? Hold on, there is something up there. Like, why is there a coin? Right there, unless you can use your vine to climb up there. It's like weird, they just hop around for a little bit and then they just go off screen. That makes no sense. At least you can spin jump on them. So I'm okay with that. Don't understand why there's so many Hammer Brothers. I hit the jump button. Is it because I was going down on a slope? That might explain it. Triclide's castle? Hmm. Okay. It won't be his anymore after I'm done with this. Okay, guys, so it's another ghost house level. This time in a pyramid. I bet you there's something hidden under there. Huh? Wait a minute. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to do it like this. Why else would there be a divot for no reason? Like, what I'm thinking is I'll need a P-switch to place on that. So I don't want to go through that door. Instead, I'll place the block right in that divot, because I bet you I have to stand on it. See? Made perfect sense. Huh. I understand my ghost house puzzle meta from time to time. Not all the time, but still. Re reliably enough to understand huh, how I'm going to solve certain puzzles. Now, let's see. Oh, here we go. I think that's a trap. That seems a bit too easy for me. But there was another divot right here. Oh, that was bad. It's kind of hard for me to avoid hits now, it seems. <laughs> Now we're in here. Again, I bet you that's a trick. Usually when we need to get through, we have to go through the secret door. That seems to be no exception. I see what I need to do. We have a time limit to get that block over. Do we know? Maybe this is the right thing to do. Nothing else on the other side of the pyramid, so I guess we're just gonna go. That was a fun level. Now let's do this one. Which hopefully will be fun as well. Oh, they do that. 
Eh, not a problem. <laughs> okay, getting the hiccups at this time hopefully will not be an issue. <laughs> I remember when, when I was in high school, they had this little saying that hiccups make you grow. Well, I get the hiccups a lot. I'm still only 5'3". So, I think that person just said a total lie. Trust me, I have the hiccups a lot. If hiccups did make you grow, I'd be like Andre the Giant-like levels in tallness. That being said, however, I mean... I remember one time in college, I had the worst case of the hiccups. Like, I would hold my breath, nothing would work, I would just gulp some water, nothing would work. And it got to the point that it was painful. So I tried, like, holding my breath and drinking water at the same time. It did work, though. So, yeah. Take that, hiccups. That's gotta be an annoying thing to have if you have, like, a sore throat. <laughs> there, we handle that accordingly. Except for that time. The guy just caught the tail end of that flame. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> oh, you're lucky I can't kill you at all. <laughs> Keeping you safe, but now you don't really have much of a life. You're trapped in that stone purgatory forever, so, huh, I win. And you didn't even hit me. Whoa! Hey, why did I miss? Okay, that wasn't really much of a boss. It was more like a bullet hell kind of thing. Well, I wouldn't say bullet hell, but bullet hell ish for some of the blasts. Um. I swear I've heard this before. Huh, <laughs> bullet bluffs. It was definitely an NES game. Rabbit Rampage? No, no, that birthday blowout. Interesting. They would have like a level for Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout there. I remember that game, that was actually a bit of fun. Some parts were a bit cheap, I will admit. But don't even the best games have their cheapest moments? I mean, Super Mario World had tubular or outrageous. What moment was really worse? Tubular or outrageous? People would say tubular because of the whole pee balloon thing. But if you knew not to ignore every single block, you were fine. Well, especially the ones on the bottom. They tend to keep going just above the charging shucks or the lowest volcano. Not realizing you need to go, well, under it. And there you go. People just don't get that. They just keep going thinking they have enough time and they don't. Outrageous, however. I mean, that was just one long gauntlet of having to deal with... Hopping fires and bullet bills. It was beyond crazy. Thank you for the boost. You were supposed to go through! <laughs> oh god, a coin heaven? Really? I bet you that's a coin heaven you can actually die in. If you fell in that little gap. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is definitely a birthday blowout there. Probably the first world. <laughs> Larger than life. Oh. These guys. Huh. They got Kirby music. Interesting they would do that.
Now, I almost felt that that was actually Kirby's Dream Land 2, but I know this is Kirby's Adventure. I have a feeling I'm gonna need, like, a silver P-switch at some point. Problem is, I won't even know where. There's too many of these. So I guess we just try them all. Oh, okay. Found it. I think that's it. Aha! I see what I need to do. Oh, that's half of it. Now, I bet you the keyhole is somewhere out in the open. Oh, yeah, put me right ahead of the checkpoint. That's pretty scummy. Now, let's just look for a keyhole. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it as soon as I was about to finish my sentence. <laughs> Funny how that works. Hedgehog Heaven? And this is about Sonic, that's not Heaven at all. In fact, that's Borderline Hell. Sorry, I don't really care for Sonic games. And some people don't care for Mario games, that's fine. I mean, let's face it, did Mario really have that bad of a game that it could have destroyed the franchise as a whole? I don't think Mario Sunshine was it, as mediocre as that's been. It wasn't that terrible. To the point you would think, oh, Mario is doomed now. Sunshine sucked. Some people thought Sunshine sucked, and that's okay. I mean, don't watch my uh, LP of it on the Christmas special if you think it's that bad. <laughs> or you can watch it anyway and just say, I told you it sucked. <laughs> I mean, it looks all rushed and everything. I think that's the best way I could have handled that. But Sonic had a few games that could have said, oh, Sonic is doomed now. Sonic 06 for one. Um, Sonic Boom, a recent one. I mean, there were so many Sonic games that you felt, oh, they're done. They can't go any lower than this. This is the ultimate low. Oh, that's Harry the Hedgehog. From Yoshi's Island, okay. Huh, Hilltop Zone. For somebody that doesn't like Sonic, at least I remember where some of these tracks are from. For some reason, that music is a little loud compared to the other levels. Have you noticed that? It's definitely sounded a bit louder. I think it could just be the trumpet instrumentals. I thought there were lots of trumpets in, a. Uh, Pokemon Hoenn region. <laughs> this takes the cake. Okay, I remember this cave music before. And that was one that I thought was Crash Bandicoot related. But wasn't. Oh well. Whoa, okay. That was like a weird reaction. Oh, thought I could get you, but guess I'd have to try again. Oh, jeez. Okay, these enemies actually are a pain in the ass. So they tend to stop really close to you. And then they bring out their barbs. Not their Barbara Bushes. <laughs> that sound gross. Okay, there's our blue switch. Oh, I thought it'd be that simple. Mega Mole is ready to race. Are you? Try to reach the door before he reaches the blocks marked X or else. You know, you could have 
told me this sooner without needing a message box. That alone cost me time. I'm guessing if he hit that, we would have to start the level over. But that's all the switches. Nice. Unless he had different colored ones. Dino Rhino Ridge. Oh yeah, I remember the Dino Rhinos. What agony they can be, especially the small ones. Speaking of the devil... <laughs> oh! Well, that alone was my fault. I, I will own up to that. Facing the wrong way. Hmm, you can be useful. Yeah, I thought it was a Yoshi coin. Well, at least you can take this pipe, too. <laughs> That's convenient. Um, whoa, 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 okay. Oh, look at them. They can't even make it. You want, you want some of this? You want, oh, jeez. Oh, that sure showed me. Then my hubris get in the way. The guy was teasing the big one, saying, oh, they can make it, they can make it. And then the, and the small one shows up and says, well, F you, Bonga. I'm going to bite your ass and scorch you alive. I mean, that's what you get for making fun of my people. And, well, I guess I ate shit for that one. Rightfully so. Oh, don't know what I was thinking there. I guess I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to get hit. Oh, I got hit. Never mind. Huh, <laughs> nice. Okay, we got a cave level next. A minor problem, punny. Oh, these guys, really? Oh, at least I like the music in this cave. I don't like having to deal with Chucks all the time. At least we oh, what is that? Walking rocks? Is that a Pokemon or something? <laughs> what are they supposed to be? Oh, probably just Goombas. Okay. If I can't kill them with fire, they might be, uh, Buzzy Beetles instead. Oh, I can get up there that easily. I say I don't get up there easily. Now, if you remember where this track is from, like, what game? I mean, let me know. That does sound pretty good. Hammer Brothers are no good, though. Like, don't send me any Hammer Bros. I don't want them. Even though they were a pain in the ass to get through a Mario Party 8 to try to unlock. Which, I mean, you had to do, like, the story mode twice. Once to get Blooper, and again to get a Hammer Bro. But, yeah, it was well worth it. I mean, I took advantage of doing Mario Party 8 for the, uh, Sandbox Gaming Marathon back in December. My only regret is I kind of wish we went 15 turns instead of 20, because it did get a bit lengthy and put us a little ahead of time. I mean, we had a big surplus of time, too. We were supposed to do Mario Party 8 around 3 p.m., and because everyone, including myself, tend to get their games done fast, I had to get there, like, five or six in the morning. I'm like, fuck, man. Why did you have to wake me up at 5.30 a.m. to call me? It's like, you know, it's always nice to get a call from someone late at night saying, oh, somebody wants to talk to me. Oh, it's a, it's a guy telling me I have to get up at like 5.30 in the morning. The buses were not even on the road at the time. So I was like, all right, I'll get my Wii, my controller is ready, and there we were. 
Then again, if we... Oh, Mystery Manor. Then again, if we did go 15 turns, probably would have missed out on that epic moment where... I almost lost the final board because somebody got all three bonus stars. The only reason I won is that I got that bonus star too for the, uh, I think it was the happening star. That was intense. Not gonna lie. I feel like we should be able to get up there. Now, let's try this door. That did not work. Or did it? Cleared up a passageway for us. That is interesting. But I think certain things happen if you go through like certain doors. Like a P switch, I obviously should activate it right here. Coins tend to be a telltale sign way too much. Now, was it worth it? Could be. Oh, another P-switch. Let's try it further on over here. You get away from me. Nobody likes you. Um, okay. Is this mirrored? Probably not, but still. Gives you the illusion that it is. So, I'll activate it here. Why do they call this mystery manor anyway? Well, I guess it's a manor and it is a bit of a mystery. So, there you go. Maybe some of these hidden doors are red herrings. I doubt it, but I can't help but be confused. Oh, okay. This should allow us to get out. It does. Good. A weird level, but pretty cool. Uh, I think that's going to be enough for this episode right here. Rolling Rock Road. Huh, lots of ours. Stay tuned for the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.